What's up, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Solo Omega. This is episode 27. I've been just kind of uh, messing around in wormholes for the most part lately. And uh, I found running these C4 rad sites to be pretty lucrative. I usually can get them in like 20 minutes or so. And they've been averaging around uh, 90 92 93 million in blue loot i don't bother salvaging because like by the time i get it done i'm already wanting to get off grid and everything like that and it's a little bit slower than doing like normal rat sites in like k space but i think that the blue loot being how it is is a little more consistent when i can find it what i usually do is i'll find like a c4 or a c5 because i'm looking to try to do like uh, some garrisons as well in the future but i'll usually fly around in a buzzard for the most part and kind of scan down bookmark and kind of locate stuff that I want to run and then once I kind of get a good idea of you know uh, if there's any player presence or if I've got any competition when if I find some good sites like these uh, command posts and stuff like that then I'll kind of switch over to the golem and just kind of blast it um, this is actually the first time I've ever actually had to use like a cap booster really because a lot there's a lot of nuding going on in wormhole sites I don't have to use it as much on the uh, C4 rat sites, but I suspect going into like C5 stuff, I'm gonna definitely gonna need a cab booster. But it's like one of those things where it's like I'd rather have it than not have it when I need it. I am running an oversized shield booster on this just because I like to have a little bit of a punch. Well, I like to fill that up on you know as fewer rotations as possible. As far as the clone, I'm running crystals. I tried with um, Nirvana's, but I just get like the uh, the higher shield boost amount for the most part. I think if in a situation where there's like heavy newts, then you probably do want the more shield points, the shield hit points. But for C4s being above, I was trying to aim to be above about 4,000 per cycle since a lot of the, uh, the wave DPS is around 3,800 or so. And... I think that <clears throat> learning the triggers for me is going to be one of the biggest things is uh, not kind of like stacking waves on top of each other, but uh, it's kind of like a give and a take, right? I want to get rid of the newts. I want to get rid of the people or the rats newting me, and most of the time, especially in C4, those frigates are the trigger, so by getting rid of the newts, I just kind of like end up getting the other waves, and it's still... Uh, it's still sustainable. It's um, extremely doable. I'm not running a prop mod. I'm not running a micro jump drive just because I come in at a distance and then I set up Bastion. But I think I'll probably end up tweaking this a little bit to where I might have like a micro jump on or like something, some sort of prop mod, just to kind of get it in and out of the way. Obviously, you know, if you don't get bothered by other players and stuff like that, then you can kind of just chill and run this as you need to. But for the most part, I try to, uh, I, before I run anything, I try to at least have like three or so sites that I can run so I can do them back to back. And to give you kind of an idea of like hourly income, I would say it's like 200, uh, 200 to 300, depending. Sometimes it can be a little bit less, sometimes it can be a little bit more. It just depends on how much downtime is in between each site that you run. But I'm still kind of tweaking kind of how I, go, I like my Golem. I've been using the Tingu as well for some like C3 and below stuff, which is a lot more chill. I think there's a little bit more. So when you get into like C5 and C6, there's a lot of activity, right? Because everybody wants to like set up in a C5 and do like the really good, you know, Nestor Varger um, combinations and stuff like that. And then in like C1 to C3, I've noticed there's a lot of um, presence as well, just because that's where people who are kind of getting into wormholing are kind of in. So like the C4 area is kind of like a uh, a gray area for people who have dedicated to living in wormhole space. They don't necessarily want to just run the C4 stuff when they can just run a Nestor uh, Marauder kind of setup or something like that in C5. So I found there to be a little bit less activity in the C4 area, at least for the past few days for me. I normally do not run on the weekends because it's a little bit even it's even more busy so and that kind of went with like how i did things in nullsec too like during the week it was a lot easier to do really uh, kind of involved with things like running a lot of high-end ded sites or stuff like that the weekends there's just a lot of fleets running around and the same thing for wormhole space there's a lot of rolling going on on the weekends there's just more people online playing so 
I'm constantly, it's a little bit more stressful on Saturday, Sundays, definitely, than during the week. But as far as this series go, I, I have been slowing down on the uh, Solo Omega since we kind of came out of Null Sec in December because I was trying to figure out like what kind of value I could add and stuff like that. So, you know, I tried out a few ships and, you know, did some, you know, L4 missions with some different things. But really moving forward, I'm kind of wanting to just kind of focus on some of the higher end stuff that's still like soloable. And so I've been uh, kind of thinking about it for a long time and that's why I kind of ended up landing on doing rat sites in wormhole space with the golem and we probably show some stuff with the Tingu and show some more scanning stuff with the buzzard and just, you know, kind of normal movement and kind of what there is to be there. And I might end up doing some mining. I don't know. I thought about it. Uh, I was kind of curious about going in there with like a, a barge or something and just kind of like showcasing some of the the ore sites. But I think the focus of Solo Omega going forward, at least for a little bit, is going to be um, the wormhole side of things. Because I kind of talked about that last month anyway, a little bit as far as going into wormhole or uh, potentially going into uh, trig space uh, Poshman. I think we're going to do Poshman next month, honestly. I think for the remainder of January, I think I'm just kind of like kind of explore wormhole space a little bit more because it is enjoyable obviously null sec is like kind of my go-to that's like my my home <laughs> because i've lived there for so long and you saw that in december i can really maximize income in null sec but i know you guys don't necessarily want to keep seeing null sec content all the time so hopefully you guys are enjoying the wormhole stuff and i'll try to do as much as i can if you have any suggestions obviously um i'm open to those and I'm also just really still kind of new at the whole wormhole thing too. So I'm, you know, learning, you know, as I go for the most part. And I do a lot of reading as well. I've always done that, a lot of reading and a lot of testing. And then uh, that's how I've always kind of done an even. I think that's how everybody should do. Like if you're interested in a ship, you should test it. And if you're interested in like a game mechanic, you should research it, right? That's why I'm pretty much on Eve University all the time, the wiki, and just always learning about different stuff and there's pages and pages and pages of <laughs> wormhole information and everything so i'll try to do some more standalone videos for like um more uh kind of focused down to wormhole uh, mechanics and and things like that or i'll kind of feed them into these episodes as we go but i figured i'd kind of let you guys see a c4 site with the golem and everything so hopefully uh Hopefully we can uh, make a decent amount of this without actually losing um, too much. But I think uh, I'm probably done uh, with the Golem after this uh, run today. And I'll probably jump in the Tingu because it's a little more chill, at least for the weekend kind of thing. But anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate all the members on the channel for uh, you know helping everything move forward and all that. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.